Yeah. Damn. This is a stream crash. <laughs> stream crash. God, everything's no. breaking in my life. I was wild. Hi, chat. How are you? <laughs> We're back. How is this amazing first time being live, huh? Crazy. Yeah, she was never alive before. You I was never. You never saw anything, guys. You all remember nothing. It was a weird dream. See, it happened hypothetically. If a uh, stream had crashed, uh, it had hypothetically happened the second I had opened up Ace Attorney, uh, <laughs> and I was like, "Did Ace Attorney just start drawing, like, four? Gigawatts of power out of my computer. Imagine. Ace Attorney <laughs> shuts down the entire city's grid. <laughs> yeah, well, I went out to the living room and I was like, hey, Dad, um, that happened for everyone? I was like, yeah. Cool. Great to know. So, assumedly, that was like a literal grid power failure and happened Maybe, yeah. everywhere. Totally saw nothing. It was all part of the act. True, chat. True. It's just Phoenix Chad Wright making a dramatic entrance. Okay, let's see if I crash my computer again. Do I have the internet? Does internet exist? <laughs> is it you real? Have the internet, you're streaming. But is it on? Who knows? Oh, y'all are getting ads again, haha. <laughs> See, I'm not getting ads, I don't have your stream up. Wow, how rude. How did it end up like this? It was only a kiss. I need to get my activity dashboard up. On oh, my stream. falling asleep, and she's carrying a cab while he's having a smoke, and she's taking Take it, a drag. Now they're going to bed, and my stomach, stomach is sick, it. but it's all on my head, and, and she's touching his, his chest, chest now. now. She takes, takes off, off her dress, dress now. now. Let me go. Pop that out. dress can look, it's killing, killing me. me. They're taking control. You kinky bastards. Yeah. Anyway. L to whoever is getting ads, truly. Imagine getting ads. Imagine not being subscribed to the streamer that is Rain Dai. Damn, can't even say my name right. Rain Dai. What do you mean? Of course it's right. How would that be wrong? There, I have my activity feed now, boys. No. Now we can actually get this party started. Get your vibe checks going, chat. Because we have vibes, and vibe check has some, new, has some new interaction features if you get some different vibes. I planned ahead. I don't think I put a time limit on it either, so... Go for it, boys. What's happening? Uh, I'm seeing if I'm about to absolutely crash my stream by going to my gaming scene Ooh. and having my OBS up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, chat. My display capture was on wrong. I don't have my... Ew, I have to go to actual Twitch. Not the void. Uh, You're right. in the void. Deal with it. I have to go into my actual thing to change my... Ugh. My actual thing to change my game. I'm playing Ace Attorney Trilogy. No. No. We are playing Ace Attorney Trilogy. We. But now I'm even more lost. Damn. <laughs> Maybe you should get a map. Hey yo. Hey yo. Get this man some directions. Here, wait, wait for it, wait for it. Oh my god, it's so loud. Ace Attorney, please. Calm yourself. Share your screen. I love that it 
doesn't think Ace Attorney is an actual thing happening in my life. There you oh, go. Oh yeah, it does love me so much. There you go. You can have that. Now you can't. Now you can. You'll add. I know, ST fangirl. It's truly a damn shame. Oh, now I'm behind it. No. <laughs> no, now it's in my webcam group. Oh, this is a mess already. Guys, we're all scuffed. All scuffed up. There we go. Right when you start typing in chat, it hits you. Well, the mentions. Does anybody have a map? Anybody happen to know how the hell to do this? Oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm going to genuinely cry. I don't have the sound going. I can hear the sound. I know you can, but I don't have it going to chat. <laughs> I just didn't hear anything. Chat, you just know. Wait, There's so they haven't been able to hear you at all? No, they've been silent. able to hear me. They just can't hear the system. The actual, <laughs> like, game sounds. They can hear me, they can hear you, they can hear the Spotify background music. Do they even need to hear the game when they've got my amazing voice? Yes. <laughs> Boys, we're in the trial. Let's go. Let's go. December 29th, 9.43 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby. Number five. Gay yeah. man. Good morning, Max. Oh, wait, no, sorry, I and Good morning, Max. <laughs> Damn, you fucked it up already. God. I thought, I thought he was Max. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Max? Mil milk. <laughs> Damn, he needs some milk, boy. <laughs> Mommy milkies. <laughs> What? If I don't have a glass of milk before I go on stage. Yeah, he does need a glass of milk. He's gonna shit himself on the fucking defendant stand. <laughs> Max is so pretty. Love his aesthetic. He is pretty. I do agree. I like this design. I just can't function, sweetie. This is stage? Don't worry, there won't be a stage. All you have to do is sit down. I guess. Are you still playing Grand Theft Auto right now? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just um, um, multitasking. Nick! Max is really nervous. That's understandable. Hey, my sweeties. <laughs> I want mommy, I need milk. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Whoa, what? You don't think I should fly, do you? Take these cards! In your face! Huh? You know, I've gotta make a good first impression. You're on trial for murder, when Max. When I enter the room, maybe I should fly in and warm up the crowd a little. Max, you're, you're on public trial for murder. There is no jury. <laughs> Max, you, you're going to go to prison if you don't get this off, man. Come on. My man just vibing. Really? <laughs> No, 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 no. We can't be having you flying around the courtroom. It just wouldn't be right. Bro's a little autistic. <laughs> Unaware of social norms. Someone. Oh, what's happening? My computer's glitching. Oh shit, it's almost like multitasking is doing it some bad. Whoa. Okay, I'm, I'm back. Proud of you. Don't worry, Max. Just do what Nick says and everything will be okay. Guys, oh, I sweetie. <laughs> I don't think his Sorry. computer's working. What is it this time, Max? Why don't you try flying into the courtroom? Like a majestic phoenix. Uh, I can see it now. The dashing young lawyer flying in fabulously from above. Isn't he like 28? I can't see yeah. Phoenix's age. Damn it. Phoenix is like 26, I think. 31. Ooh. That's gumshoe. I know, but you can't look at Phoenix, so you just have to oh. guesstimate. Alright. One glimpse of that and everyone in the room will be on your side. Max, really, no one needs to fly today. 
Nick? <laughs> no. Don't tell me. <laughs> Don't tell me he's actually considering it. <laughs> I'm like, just fly, bro. What's with that For look real. in your eyes? <laughs> I like the sound of that. A dashing young lawyer flying fabulously. Nick, no. December 29th, 10 a.m. District Court, card room number two. Oh, shit. Who, who wants uh, to be the judge? I'm not touching anything. What? Your honor, get on with it. Oh, sorry. I just realized the defendant's name is Billy Bob Jones. <laughs> Proud of you. So. Well, isn't the defendant also known as Maximilian Galactica? Yes, Your Honor, he does often go by that name. You know, my grandchildren child is a huge fan of his. I want his autograph. I think everyone here wouldn't mind if we call a defendant Maximilian Galactica. It sounds more friendly. Hmm, I wonder if that is to our advantage. Ms. Von Karma, your opening statement, if you please. The damn, like, five-second delay between looking at GTA and actually doing the stream. Yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm not being paid for this. You get what you want. You get what you pay for. <laughs> I hope you didn't bother thinking you'd win this one, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Hey? That spirit channeling trial was a sham. I refuse to acknowledge its legitimacy. My great German accent, boys, <laughs> not even trying it. <laughs> it did not count. Do you hear me? She must still be upset about what happened last time. You have no chance. Zero zilch nada. I am not losing this case. Why, you ask? Because it is not in the nature of a Von Karma to lose at anything. <laughs> Said your dad who had a metal detector put to his chest in a courtroom <laughs> to prove that he was the murderer of a murder 15 <laughs> years before. I guess being born with the name Von Karma is a free pass to be arrogant and annoying. Watch and learn, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I'll show you the textbook procedure for proving how absolutely guilty you are. M -m me Guilty? I, I killed a man? <laughs> Wait, what? What are you talking about? It will be my ultimate revenge. But it's not like it'll bring her dad back. He's rotting in a jail <laughs> cell. Fucking hell, Maya, Jesus. Maya's really going at it. Fuck me. There, opening statement complete. Now let's hurry up and wrap this waste of time. Very well. You may call your first witness, Miss Von Karma. Detective Dick Gumshoe, get up there, <laughs> now. Dick. Ultimate revenge? No, you can't hit me with the Nagito emote. <laughs> you can't do that. You can't ban him, ban him. I can't have that here. <laughs> ban him. <laughs> ban hammer, ban hammer. Sorry to keep you from work, as I'm sure you need every penny you can earn, detective. Damn! <laughs> who was doing gumshoe? Was it me? Chad, who was doing gumshoe? Chad, do you remember who was doing gumshoe? Uh, I'll do gumshoe, because... Sure. Because you're doing Judge and Phoenix, I'll do Von Karma and Maya. Maya doesn't speak as much. Yeah. Okay, cool. And I'm, yeah, and then I'm yeah. doing Max. And, and we'll Mo, just see who comes out as witnesses. Sure. <laughs> Don't mention it. It's no trouble at all. I've been looking forward to this. Very well. I would like you to begin by shedding light on the events in question. At your service, sir. All right, detective, you may proceed with your testimony. Oh shit, it's a witness testimony. Details of the event. Witness testimony. <laughs> witness testimony. The night of the crime, snow was falling until 9.40 p.m., making it extremely cold outside. Sounds like me describing D&D. All of the circus performers were gathered in the big top to practice their routines. The practice session broke up around 10 p.m. 
Murder itself took place in the plaza out in the front of the lodging house at 10.15 p.m. How do you know that, Gumshoe? How do you know that time? The victim was found bent over a wooden box, dead as a doornail. Hey, yo. I'm Cause not of... up. Hey, yo. <laughs> hey, yo. Hanged to death. Ah, thank you, Raiders. I don't have my buttons anymore. No. <laughs> uh, hey, did my raid thing work? Holy shit, my raid thing worked. I created that on the fucking fly. Hi. Let's go. Welcome, Raiders. Thank you, Jody, for raiding with a party of three. Welcome, welcome, everyone. I'm Rain Day. I am a variety game streamer. Currently, we are playing Ace Attorney, and that's kind of the full vibe. Thank you, Found Chaos, for the follow. Welcome, welcome in. Woo, I've remembered how to stream barely. I feel so lost without my air horn for raids. <laughs> Where's my air horn button? Welcome, Raiders. Woo! Really, I spelled causing wrong. Fuck! <laughs> my bot spelled causing wrong. I'm gonna kill Oh my him. god. Imagine. I'm gonna be fucking cheeked up like this dead man on a box real quick here. <laughs> <laughs> the cause of death was blunt force trauma that snapped a vertebrae in his neck. Jesus. Damn. Hey, yo! Hold on, sorry, my computer's glitching again. Fuck. Just stop playing fucking GTA while I'm streaming. No, that's loser. what I'm trying to close it. I see, <laughs> he was beaten to death. Here's the autopsy report for the victim. The court accepts this into evidence. Thank autopsy report God. added to the court record. Name's Russell. A blunt object. Hmm. His name's Russell. <laughs> Who is it? This guy, Russell Berry. Well, very well, Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Time to play the video game. Cross-examination! Details of the event! It's just the same shit. <laughs> so, <laughs> what's the contradiction, Matt? You were paying attention, right? Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> anyway, this is how we play the video game. We have to contradict things in his statement. Okay. So, 1015, blunt force trauma to the back of the head. Oh, I can also go through and press all of these options so we get yeah. more information. Let me ask you about the snow. Was it snowing? <laughs> Was it white? Did your eyes become large and the light that you shine become seen? Sorry. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> He just fucking it cut out too, so I don't even know what the sound was. <laughs> it was nearly a blizzard up until the time of the crime. Did it pile up? Have fun getting food, darkness. There is no lurk command. I'll fix that later. Add An it to inch the and a half list. Is, is a perfectly a big amount, Gumshoe. <laughs> Damn, it has personality, okay? It's just cold. <laughs> <laughs> Jab is fine, it's just cold, okay? It wasn't such a big oh deal. God. Maybe about an inch and a half was on the ground. There's no frozen place and stayed on the ground until the next day. Hmm, the snow. Let me see. There's got to be more to this. <laughs> Phoenix, it's snow. It's snow. <laughs> What's the matter, Nick? <laughs> snow chance. <laughs> I need to take a look at the court record. Court record. <laughs> Picture. Footprint. Probably footprint. Made to order hats. Found at the scene of the crime. Famous symbols. Broken bottle. A monkey. <laughs> a monkey. <laughs> take this, Von Karma. Pulls a fucking monkey out of his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why do they call him monkey in the back pocket? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> fucking <Pocket> monkey. <laughs> Mr. Gumshoe, what were the members of the circus doing on the night of the crime? Oh shit, what are they doing? All of the circus performers were gathered in the big top to practice their routines. When you say all of the circus performers, who do you mean? He means all of the circus performers, Phoenix. <laughs> Sorry, I was drinking water. 
God, Rain, you say I'm not paying attention. Everyone but the dancers and staff were there. Martina the Animal Tamer, Mo the Clown, Ben the Ventriloquist, and of course the defendant, Maximilian Galactica, and his victim, the Ringmaster. Oh, I almost forgot. Regent the Tiger was there as well. <laughs> Out of curiosity, what That's about what I was gonna ask. Monkey? I was gonna ask about the monkey. <laughs> when I was investigating yesterday, he happened to snatch my wristwatch. Oh, poor man. Thank poor you. himbo. You're welcome to file a police report after these proceedings. Fuck you, Judge. No, we're gonna fucking send this monkey to court right now for this man. <laughs> Put the monkey on trial. <laughs> Put the monkey on trial. <laughs> Practice session broke up around 10 p.m. After the practice is over, where did everyone head off to? Regina was playing with Regent while Mo went back to his room tired from work. Ben the Ventriloquist went to the front gate, absorbed in his own world. The Ringmaster and Max went off to the Ringmaster's room to talk privately. I think they were fucking. Yeah, they definitely were. Talk privately, huh? That's awfully suspicious. And awfully gay. You wouldn't happen to know what condoms they used, would you? <laughs> it seems they were negotiating Max's salary, i.e. Trojan. Actually, Max was asking for Regina's hand in marriage. Murder stuff took place in the plaza in front of the lodging house. <laughs> I don't I have my Jeopardy more specific button. <laughs> about the events at 10 15 p.m. I was like, I don't have my Jeopardy button. I can't I can't make this funny. Sorry. Uh, um, okay, not a problem, pal. We've got a witness that told us how the whole thing went down. Oh! This is totally meaningless. Time to move on. Did she just whip Gumshoe? Yeah, did you miss when she whipped Phoenix and the judge earlier? <laughs> kind of her thing. Hmm, all right, we'll just have to revisit the testimony later. Detective Gumshoe, would you mind telling us how the victim met his end? The victim was found bent over a wooden box dead as a doornail. A wooden box? That's right! The victim must have been carrying the wooden box when he was killed. Carrying the box, huh? Hmm. It was a rather strange wooden box, your honor. What do you mean? Well, it was much heavier than it looked. Not to mention it was locked. Locked, you say? Hmm. Wooden, wooden box! Wooden box added to the court record! Wooden box! <laughs> oh, shit. This may be my only chance, so I might as well ask some questions. What do we ask? What do you want to know? I don't, uh, um, about the contents. Do you mind telling us what was inside that box? Well, when we found the box, it was locked tighter than Fort Knox. That rhymed! So we took it back to the station and cracked it open. All that was inside was this little bot. Oh, drugs. Oh, no. Hmm, <laughs> that's kind of my shit. Bottle, what is that, detective? Exactly what it looks like, Your Honor. It's a condiment bottle. <laughs> <laughs> what condiments are you using, Gumshoe? For real? Gumshoe's a drug addict. But what's inside this bottle? It's filled with pepper. <laughs> Hard pepper. <laughs> pepper, why in the world is in the light box? There was only one little bottle in that huge box? I wonder if that has some sort of special meaning. Oh. <laughs> what? what the fuck? What am I supposed to do with a small seasoning bottle? For real. <laughs> what the fuck? According to the autopsy report, the murder, the murder weapon was a blunt object, correct? You've done your homework, pal. Then you haven't found this murder weapon, have you? The police are searching for it as we speak. 
My theory is that it's something the per perpetrator ran off with. Bro, I thought you closed GTA. You would think so, especially since you didn't find it on the scene. <laughs> no, no, no. I bet he made it disappear with magic. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I think we have a good feel for the details of the event now. I guess that's all we're gonna get out of this gumshoe in this case. You mean all we're gonna get out of him is that little bottle of pepper? Now that we have wrapped up with the detective, I'd like to call my next witness. Uh, I'm not even off the stand yet. Here comes a whip. Oh. <laughs> Obviously, but that's due to you being slow and unable to take a hint. I don't know, but wrapped up has such a mean sound to it. I'm a sensitive guy. Oh, himbo. Aww. I love him. He's great. Thank you very much, Detective Gumshoe. You may step down. Ms. Von Kammer, call your next witness. I would like to call Mr. Benjamin Woodman to the stand. The ventriloquist. You must be talking about Ben the ventriloquist. It's time. I wonder if Trillo is still will show up on the stand as well. Okay, so are you doing both Ben and Trillo? Is that? I would like to do Trillo. I like my Trillo like, voice. Yeah, because you, you did Ben before as well, so. Yeah, you can do Ben. No, you can, I think you can do all three. I think okay, works. I'll funny. do both. <laughs> yeah, you just want to play GTA, huh? Yeah. No, Please. I just think it'd be funny to see you swapping all three. Please state your name and occupation for the record. My full name is Triloquist. I am employed as an operatic tenor. Excuse me. <laughs> the witness called to the stand was one Mr. Benjamin Woodman, Ventriloquist. That row must be cutting off your circulation. I said that I was a singer. Maybe you don't believe me. Fine, I'll grace you with a song. Me, 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 me. Oh my god, ow. <laughs> <laughs> the world of the law. Exciting and daring guilt or innocence decided by a judge dressed like a woman well what do you think don't quit your day job <laughs> <laughs> this is oh. my day job it had a good rhythm <laughs> Maya. No. Maya, I, love Maya. <laughs> I love Maya so much it's just the lyrics they leave something to be desired so to speak Drillo, you know better than to insult a judge. Shut up! Just look at your nose. You'd think you'd have the sense to fix it. <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. What the fuck? It's Trillo, so ugly, I want to punch you in the face on the off chance swelling would help. <laughs> what the fuck? Bro! This is an my unhealthy god. relationship, my god. We need to get Benjamin out of this relationship. For real, this is just abuse. You know that your nose is the reason you'll never be an A-list star. Fucking hell. Celebrities really must enjoy seeing everything that flashes into their minds. What's going on here? Order, order. I demand to know who the witness is. Don't worry about me, sir. I'll let Trillo handle this. I'm not worried about you one bit. I'm worried about getting pissed me in my court. Ouch. You won't get anywhere trying to figure out this witness. Now let's proceed. Oh shit. What you witnessed. What you witnessed! Once practice was over, I left the tent with the stooge. I mean clown. Once we got to the lodging house, I ditched him and went back to the plaza's entrance. That's when I saw Max heading toward the scene of the crime. It was the only one heading that way. How could that punk not be the killer? Then the police showed up and took Magic Boy away. Damn. Short testimony. Damn. <laughs> you saw Maximilian Galactica heading toward the scene. You're sure of that? Without a doubt, he had on his silk hat cloak and the dumb white roses on his chest. How can you mistake someone with that crazy get up and his nose stuck up so high? Jesus. That's enough. I think we all get the picture. <laughs> I kind of love him. <laughs> yeah, I know. I love him as well. Just one thing. You said you ditched the clown. That's right, dress boy. <laughs> well, since you went with him, couldn't that mean the clown came in time? 
Hey, hey, judge, judge. Who's the defense attorney here? <laughs> hmm, he's got a point. What a shame. It was a nice theory, but the clown can't be the culprit. What is that? Here's absolute proof. A, a silk cat? This was found at the scene of the crime. It belongs to the defendant. Oh. Without question, he was wearing his signature hat during practice. If the clown was the murderer, there would be no reason for this hat to be at the scene unless he framed him? For real. That's a... Was your first day being an attorney? Hmm. <laughs> she's not an attorney, she's a oh, prosecutor. Damn, one, your, prosecutor your prosecutorial skills are unrivaled. Well done. Damn, you struggled. Sorry, I crashed my car halfway through. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for stating the obvious. Mr. Phoenix Wright, what do you have to say? Okay. I guess she's the boss again today. Yeah, when you have a whip, that tends to happen. <laughs> Bro, you must be fucking down bad for real. It's examination! What you it is! What well, is the of the time of the stooge? I mean, clown! The clown? You're talking about Mo? Of course I'm talking about that old fart. He's so pathetic, I can't stand him! Just a little bit of exercise and his makeup's all running all over the place. Once practice was over, I thought that said 9 11. <laughs> <laughs> I had a Imagine. panic flash in my head of just like, no, wait. <laughs> you just get instantly, you just get instantly banned off your Fucking stream crashes again. Imagine <laughs> the FBI shut your shit down. <laughs> Open up. <laughs> Once practice was over, he was nine tenths of the way to keeling over for good. Poor guy. We didn't have any choice, so Ben took him back to his room. When it comes to being a first place loser, that guy's ahead of the pack. Hmm, then what happened? Once we got to the lodging house, I ditched him and went back to the plaza's entrance. Why the plaza's entrance? To do some thinking, of course. It was awfully cold out that night, especially with all the snow over it. Wouldn't thinking in your nice warm lodging house have been a better idea? Man, I'm a fucking puppet. I don't get cold. I'm always hard. Sorry. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, oh. Trilla hey, was speaking. Oh, it wasn't me. Puppet, girl. It wasn't me. Uh, Mr. Phoenix Wright, I think you should leave the thinking to the witness. But I'm a good thinker. At least my teachers always said I was. <laughs> I fucking love Phoenix. <laughs> That's when I saw Max heading toward the scene of the crime. Are you sure it was really Max Galactica? Of course I'm sure. How could you mistake someone wearing such a snobby three-piece getup? Snobby three-piece getup? Uh, let me, let me, let me look. White roses, hat, whatever Ooh, the fuck else. Yeah, so. Look at the cum cuddles on that guy. <laughs> Get the wax out of your ears. Lawyers nowadays, you're like talking to a brick wall. Max's three-piece getup. Jeez, could you be any more dense? All together now. Still cat, cloak, white roses. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Nick, I think you should put a little bit more effort into preparing your questions. <laughs> Damn, you're getting caught out. <laughs> oh, Phoenix, no. <laughs> you saw Max and only Max, right, Trill? That's right, and that makes him the killer. There was only one person heading that way that night. Hmm, that makes quite a bit of sense and makes Max one suspicious character. I really trust this puppet's testimony. For real. There's more to this story than meets the eye. Is there something amiss in this? Oh. Well, look at the court record, see if you have proof real quick. Kirby, no. My spaghetti. <laughs> My spaghetti! Make sure the crime scene doesn't help. Found at the crime scene. Max's salary. Max's three famous symbols. 
Mm, broken bottle. If he was wearing his hat, how would he have seen him walking away with his hat? I don't know. No. <laughs> I thought this was the testimony of like he was going to the lodging at the where before that. I'm not sure though. It could absolutely yeah. be that answer. Ten fifteen contains pepper. <laughs> God damn pepper. Kirby, my spaghetti. <laughs> not your spaghetti. My spaghetti. There's no proof it was Max. Wait a second. There's no proof that the witness saw Maximilian Galactica. It was just a cosplay, you're right! Hey, hey, you still don't get it, do ya? I saw what I saw! It was Max's three-piece joke of a costume. Alright, let's say it all together now! Oh Silk cat, cloak, white roses! <laughs> Thank you! I think you should study up on your celebrities, Mr. White. Wait, Mr. White? Mr. Wright? <laughs> Yo, Mr. White, you should study on your celebrities. I am the celebrity, Jesse. Yo, Mr. White, <laughs> I'm getting shut down by a toy, Mr. White. No. Great, I'm getting shut down by a toy. Chad Wright has turned into Mr. White. <laughs> <laughs> And around what time did police arrive at the scene? Mm, I suppose that would have been around... Hey, what time is it? Uh, um, I think it was around... I'd say a bit after 10.30pm, I, I think? Practice ended at 10pm, so you hung around the lodging house the entire time? Oh shit, we're unraveling the mystery. I, 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 I guess that sounds about right. Wasn't it awfully cold? I can't believe you just stand outside in that weather. Well, uh, the truth is... Will you shut up, you big nose dope? Why are you telling him anything extra? Cause you're on oath, duh. Why can't you believe that we just stand outside in that weather? Hey, 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 judge, I think that was an admission of lying <laughs> in court. That was a little yeah. bit of perjury right there. Literally, yeah. Mm. Well, maybe you were waiting for someone? Fangirl, you missed the point where I also made that joke. <laughs> Trillo can't be cold, he's a puppet, <laughs> duh. What? Who said we were waiting for someone? Mr. Phoenix Wright, we can't all do without your offhand theories. But the witness, he's cracking under the pressure already. I'm on to something. Mm. Mm, Mr. White. Hey, yo, Mr. White. Who do you suppose the witness was waiting for around the cold in that night, Mr. White? Oh, shit. Um, maybe the ring. T12. Yeah, to propose. Well, wait. It's either going to be the ring or it's going to be the genuine profile of her. Want to flip a coin? Yeah, maybe, maybe the, maybe the, maybe try the actual thing and then you can have the ring as like support. As like a backup, yeah. Present. Yeah. We did it! Well, if he was waiting outside in the cold, it was for one person. We did it! The music stopped! Let's fucking go! And one person only. He was waiting for the animal tamer, Regina. What? Oh. Guys, Trillo's dead. He was dead. waiting outside for Regina to come back to the lodging house. Trillo just exploded. <laughs> Am I mistaken? I'm back. Nothing happened. <laughs> Is this true, Mr. White? Well, uh, I um, can't really ask me that question. Who cares who I was waiting for that night? What's important is what I saw. Don't you forget it. Well, 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 the puppet may, may be a bit stiff, but he's right, Mr. White. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't really have anything to do with the testimony at hand, sadly. 
It seems that this <laughs> what fuck. It seems at this stage I have no reason to doubt the witness's testimony. Are you sure about that? No, this is the worst judge I've ever seen, bro. <laughs> you have no idea. You have no fucking clue how bad this man is. Oh, uh, there are clearly no conclusive contradictions. My guy. <laughs> my my oh, guy. My guy. <laughs> My He's God. Right. Is he right? He might be right. He might be white. Hey, hey, hey. yo, you're racist, Mr. White. <laughs> A brilliant judgment, Your Honor. Now let's move along with the testimony. Hmm. Trilla wouldn't happen to have an ulterior motive for incriminating Max, would he? Uh, you say that. Yeah, he's in the love triangle. The one day trial. Done with it. <laughs> well, Max is part of that bitter love triangle with Regina. Sorry, I really thought it was a Maya line. Which is probably why Max cocked him over the head. Um, Nick, wasn't Ben the one who got knocked over the head? Uh, yeah, I think so. I don't know anymore. <laughs> My god, you're all awful at this. Once practice is over, I left the down. Okay, we've made it to the end. We have to present an argument. <laughs> uh, Max heading towards the scene of the crime. How could that punk not be the killer? Oh, God. Oh, God, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Monkey! Maybe, I think present the ring, because that gives a reason for him to wait for Okay, but Regina. where... Where present the ring? Um... Because you have to present it in one of these sections here. Yeah, I don't know. The police showed up and took away Magic Boy. Not that. How could that punk not be the killer? I saw Max heading towards the scene of the crime. Got to the lodging. Isn't that a contradiction? Because he said he was waiting outside. Oh, no, yeah, no. no yeah, no, he was it. waiting outside. It's, it, you're right, Phoenix. This is a very confusing testimony. Yeah. Okay, I left the town with the clown. Okay, so he and Mo left at 10. Got yeah. to the lodging house. Went back to the plaza's entrance after that. Saw Max heading and, towards wait, the scene of the crime. He said he saw Max heading to the scene of the crime, but uh, he said he saw him at 10.30, but the time of death is 10.15. No, he saw him. The police came at 10.30 is what he said. Fuck. I know. Welcome to this game. <laughs> uh, saw Max heading towards the scene of the crime. Oh, do I have... That's the one that would be, like, the refute. Yeah. Monkey. Monkey. <laughs> Monkey. Uh, but hey, I have a retort. Mm -mm. Monkey. Monkey. One force trauma in the back of the head. Damn, I can't even look into that more? Damn. Yeah. Maybe, uh, maybe it's... Maybe do that, because there's no um, There's no footprints. returning footprints. Yeah. And there's only one set of footprints. Yeah, maybe that. Oh. I'm gonna guesstimate also, just as a guess. Uh, this is going to imply that... Uh... uh no. That's not right, because this definitely... Yeah, no. My no, bad. Ignore Max me. Flew, right? uh, that Max flew. No, I was thinking that because there's one set of footprints and it was a blizzard outside, that yeah. this photo was taken much later when the snow was able to cover up footprints, and these footprints were, like, saved by the killer or something to confuse the audience. Yeah. Uh... Hmm. Uh, cat found at the crime scene. Nothing really helps, does it? <laughs> no, you see my problems here. <laughs> uh, Maybe just show Regina at the, I don't know, at some point. <laughs> how could that punk not be the killer? Um. Oh wait, he just got the raise. He just got the raise, so why would he kill the thing? Why would he kill the guy? I'll present it because I have nothing better, but I don't think this one's going to be right. Oh, no, the music continued. Oh, God. The witness statement is clearly false, Your Honor. 
<laughs> oh god, we uh, fucked up. We fucked up. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can see nothing faulty. <laughs> we fucked up. Unfortunately, I will have to penalize you, Mr. Wright. Definitely not pulling no, up a walkthrough right now. Be penalized. <laughs> hey, yo, Mr. White. Definitely no, not Mr. already White. pulling up the, oh, the, the. I must be on the wrong track. Wiki strategy. Definitely not pulling it up just to be sure we can get through this at some point. <laughs> uh, what the, what the fuck is this? Uh, game two, uh, circus trial. Definitely not looking up the guide. Brain that's cheating. Oh. I do this all the time okay this i'm a streamer i have to get through the game somehow <laughs> i have to get through the, the game somehow okay i won't even look at the right answer i'm just gonna go look at it look at the right answer duh <laughs> uh the first part of the trial okay cool we just have it up in case we get to the end i only use it when i'm on my last little leg yeah. Lee showed up and took Magic Boy away. Magatama! <laughs> <laughs> You're lying! Oh. I can see your psyche locks! <laughs> what the fuck is the contradiction here? <laughs> what the I don't fuck know, is dude. It? <laughs> I don't know what it would be. Like, Found go the through all the statements again. Go through all the statements. All the statements, again. okay. Wait. So, but, okay. Once okay, practice so yeah, was over. Tent was dude. I mean, so clown. Yeah. So Mo. Yeah. We got to the lodging house. I ditched him and went back to the plaza's entrance. Do I have a map of the circus real quick? I think you do. Yeah, circus yeah. map. Let's see. Okay, lodging house. Lodging house. I'm putting my finger on the screen to trace it. <laughs> And the murder happened, like, I have a mouse. Just outside the lodging house, and he went to the plaza's entrance. But if, if everyone was if, leaving, if everyone was leaving the um, big circus, top circus. Top, yeah, because if he was leaving the ringmaster's room, how would Mo have seen him going there? Maybe that? Well, the lodging house is back here. Oh, uh, yeah. And so, oh, like, no. assumingly the entrance is here, you walk out go around, come back, murder happened here, I believe, is what was happening, if I remember yeah, the layout like, correctly. Right, it was, like, just behind the loving house. So, like, murder happens here. He sees it. He didn't say he saw the guy who got murdered, though. Yeah, if he didn't... Hmm. You go through, and then you're, like, back at the Big Top entrance. It might be the map, but if it is, I don't know why it's the map. Yeah, maybe just try it. We fucked up. <laughs> this evidence clearly reveals the contradiction in that statement, Your Honor. How exactly are the evidence in the statement just now related? They aren't, <laughs> are they? I've pulled a fast one on you, Mr. Judge. I have tried. Not at all. Miss, yo, Mr. White, think hey, over yo. your facts before making accusations, Mr. White. I don't think that won me any points for the judge. God, this is not going to bode well for how fast we're going to get through this first bit of the investigation trial. Ooh. Okay, Ditchman went back to the plaza's entrance. That's when I saw Max heading towards the scene of the crime. I've got no fucking clue, dude. I don't either. <laughs> Definitely not. I'm checking Twitter, guys. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Make sure you tweet about how sexy I am. I figured it out. We were almost there with the Regina thing, okay? Uh, uh, do you have to present the ring? No. Oh, uh, okay. Well, what did you have to do? Where is the one that I press? There. Because, okay, I will tell you, I did have this thought. Remember when I was looking at that map? Yeah. And I was like, hey, if you walked past here, you'd see, like, the murder happening. You'd see the yeah. ringmaster. And it asks us, like, you only saw Max Galactica. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, did you? Are you sure you only saw a Max Galactica snobby three-piece setup? Yeah. Her be my spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, you cannot yowl for my spaghetti curbs. 
Why the plaza's entrance? Yeah. I'm just trying oh, wait, to get I've already through. done this kind of work. Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to get through to all the options again. Because I forgot where they were. It was awfully cold that night. Maybe you should have brought a jacket. Damn it, where was it? Ulterior motive. Ben got knocked in the head. One, two, three. <laughs> what did I do wrong? Yeah, Max and so only Max. Max and only Max, right, Trill? That's right, and that makes him the killer. There was only one person head that way that night. Hmm, that makes quite a bit of sense. It makes Max one suspicious character. Sorry, guys, I gotta get back into the Ace Attorney mode of, like, if something progresses even slightly, that's the part you need to do. Yeah. That's a bit strange, don't you think? What's strange? That you only saw Max? Doesn't it seem like you should have seen someone else as well? What's Where are you going with this, Mr. White? Who else do you suppose the witness could have seen, Mr. White? The ringmaster, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's the victim! Yeah, because it took place outside the lodging house. That's correct. If Trilla was at the entrance to the plaza, he should have seen the ringmaster as well. Holy shit! Uh huh. Obviously, the ringmaster arrived at the scene of the crime before the witness could have seen him. Anyone else with sense could have figured that one out. You foolish fool. What are you talking about? The ringmaster and Max went together to the ringmaster's room. Is that according to the defendant? A likely story. If Maximilian Galactica was supposed to be in the ringmaster's room, why was he just as the witness stated at the scene of the crime? Ah, uh, you've caught me in a bit of a kerfuffle. I see. You've caught my spikes in a bit of a rough. All right. There is obviously a reason why this witness was why this witness, witness was there. Why last this night. witness was there that why night? Witness. Maybe I should be Von Karma. <laughs> and you should be Van Zeeks in the. Ace Attorney Chronicles games. <laughs> In seven <laughs> years when I get there. Waiting for Regina to arrive. <laughs> Moreover, even if someone else would have walked right in front of him, <gasps> I doubt he would have paid them a second thought. Holy shit! I don't know what he's saying! <laughs> I don't know what that means! That makes perfect sense, Mr. White. What did you just say? The witness saw the defendant at the scene of the crime? The crime, that wasn't a question. My bad. <laughs> However, he did not see the victim on his way to his eventual demise. If you accept that, then you must accept that there is a high likelihood that... He could have missed someone else, other than Max heading to the scene. Ah, you fuck! There is absolutely no proof that the witness was waiting for the animal tamer. He already admitted that earlier. Um, uh, um, I guess you got me. All right, all right, I'll spill the beans for real this time. I'll stop committing a felony in court. Yeah, you know, that's worth six months in prison, but it's I'll fine. stop committing perjury. It's true, I was waiting for Regina. Pain! 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 <laughs> Don't volunteer things. Mr. Quist, tell us the truth this time, and I mean the whole truth. Nothing but the truth, so help me God. Were you or were you not waiting for Regina at the entrance to the lodging house? I was. I was waiting to propose to her. You were what? Waiting to propose? 
what's the matter? You think that humans have a monopoly on marriage? <laughs> Damn, that, he's kind of speaking fast. marriage is not under review in this case. Yo, let him cook, though. He kind of spe really kind of spitting facts. You're the judge. I mean, look at your horrible outfit. More Damn. pain. More pain. Thanks to your bumbling, my perfect plan is not so perfect anymore. Now we have to waste time getting to the bottom of some silly proposal by a puppet. Ah, uh, fuck. Are you good? Ah, uh, shit. Sorry, you know, you know, like when your foot goes numb and it just starts coming back and then it gets like really <laughs> painful when you move it. Ah, oh, fucking Jesus. I was like, she didn't whip anyone. You don't have to make noises right now. Uh, uh, no. I'm in pain. <laughs> Sounds like a personal problem, honestly. Fuck. <laughs> Don't be so surprised that I was going to propose to Regina. I even had something to give her. I kept it in my pocket hey waiting yo. for the chance to propose hey and yo, give it to her. That's all another crime. What the fuck? Hey, yo. Of course, I also had it in my pocket that night. It was a present for her. In was the end, and I wasn't able to give it to her. So I've still got it in my pocket. No, it's Boy, in... I bet you do, Mr. It's, Trillo. It's in my pocket, actually. <laughs> I like it was described as a cheap ring with an eerie sparkle. Yeah. You were going to pose you, a puppet. Don't be so obtuse. Just because I'm a puppet doesn't mean I can't love. Gotta I spit guess you're back. right. Just because I'm old doesn't mean I couldn't propose to her too. Well, hold whoa, up there. Hey, whoa, hey, whoa, hey, whoa. Yo. We already whoa, have problems whoa, with up. the age <laughs> thing. She's like 16 or something. Yeah, we already have problems fuck? here, sir. My guy. Exactly. <laughs> His daughter is looking a little less than honorable right now. <laughs> Sounds like we gotta get a Roe v. Wade. <laughs> okay, Mr. White, please continue with your examination. <laughs> what was with that sigh at the end? What? <laughs> Maya, <laughs> what the fuck? Class examination! What, what was that? What was, what was that? Anyway. I'm like I'm moaning at the witness stand for real. Uh, even had something to give to her, kept it in my pocket. Of course, I also had it in my pocket that night. It was a present for her. Uh, that one, yeah. Yeah! We were still thinking of trying to give it to Regina. She's probably in the stands right now. Yeah. Regina's sitting there like, uh... Oh... Uh, <laughs> of course I am. I spent three months' salary on this thing. I'm not gonna give up that easily. I wonder how much he receives for appearing in the circus. Not because he's fucking made of wood. Probably way more than he deserves. How about it, Nick? I think it's about time to unwrap this toy's testimony. That's the spirit, Nick. Give him heck. I'm not allowed yeah. to curse. <laughs> the judge has that dazed and confused look again. Maybe he should get out more. Jesus. <laughs> I'm really just on the test to touch grass. What the fuck? <laughs> anyway. Oh, uh, I'll press on the rest of the statements, too, to be sure. Yeah. By proposal, you mean proposing marriage, correct? To Regina? No, I'm proposing my new business idea for an NFT company. <laughs> I'm making it a pyramid scheme, Your Honor. It's an MLM <laughs> nightmare. It's gonna be called Hustlers Academy. <laughs> now I'm gonna change my name to Andrew Tate. Oh my god, no. <laughs> no. Not again. <laughs> Not again. Of course that's what I meant. What kind of stupid question is that? Hey, can someone shut that fucking dog up? Kirby, you can't have my spaghetti. You can't. Ma'am. I wasn't gonna propose that we become some sort of outlaw biker gang yeah. together. Oh my god. Kirby causing problems. Right, Ben? Y yeah. Got it. That's the truth. Sure. <laughs> was it, what was it exactly that you planned on giving her? I don't mean you're a woody. You know exactly what I want, what I was going to give her, numbskull. The only a thing I can find. Grabs? I can match Regina's beauty. <laughs> Damn, even Von Car. You know Holy what? Shit. Francisca kind of want to know. 
<laughs> yeah, for real. I think even she's getting tired of this fucking puppet. <laughs> I think she's been tired of it since before he got on the witness stand. Yo, where's your voice, Mr. White? I'm eating, bitch. I Was will it a... do a shitty voice for her. Don't, don't try me. <laughs> Answer his question. What was it? You're gonna die when you hear this. It's an engagement ring. Fucking idiots. <laughs> Holy engagement shit. ring? <gasps> engagement ring? You can afford one of them? Wow, those two nearly fell out of their chairs. <laughs> I don't know why Francisca almost fell out of her chair. <laughs> Mr. Phoenix Wright's jokes has gone too far. I'm all for puppet rights. <laughs> <laughs> but this is too much. Time for this to end right here. Francisca's whip looks like it's about to lash out on almost why anything. Is, why is she getting so worked up about this? For real. <laughs> One hit from that thing will probably shut someone up for a long time. Pain equals bad. Pain equals bad. We gotta push on anyway. <laughs> Pain equals bad. <laughs> Pain equals bad. <laughs> Yeah, Regina's getting all the bitches. It may be something of a joke, but this is a historic moment. Uh, I'm gonna go put my spaghetti away because I'm not gonna eat the rest of it, and Kirby's going to just sit here and scream at me. So anyway, chat, let me tell them. you a story. Let me tell you a story. And this is all about how my life got twist turned upside down. Let me take a minute, just sit right there and tell me how you, get, how you came the prince of a town called Bel Air. How do I entertain people, bro? I don't know. How are you going, fangirl? <laughs> What's good? We got a raid earlier. We're feeling good. I'm just vibing. How are you liking the rebrand as well? Loving the rain rebrand. This is all my idea. I get. I did all of this for rain. She did none of it. So just make, make sure you thank me and not her, okay? Oh shit, she's back. Bro. I said nothing. Bro, what the fuck? My head just nothing. hurts. <laughs> Damn. Mine too, after talking with Matt for like an hour, so you're yeah, fine, fangirl. Yeah, that's not a problem. Uh, plot twist, Regina is asexual and doesn't want to date anyone. I advise you to cut this argument short. I'm going to have defense here. Bro, you cut out so badly there. Ooh. Will the witness please revise their testimony? Hey yo, they them pronouns, Judge. Good on ya. Specifically about the engagement ring, I'd like to stick to facts, not sociology. You sure do enjoy sweating the details, especially for a man in a black bathrobe. Hey, hey yo, ho. my guy. <laughs> Come on. An engagement. <laughs> Regina asexual like Jessica Rabbit. True. <laughs> <laughs> I love the thought that Jessica Rabbit is asexual. So good. Uh-huh, it's actually a diamond-shaped stone cut from glass. Even more brilliant than the real thing. I love Regina is going to love it. What a, what a cheap bitch. It's just yeah. a ring. That took him three months of salary to save up for. Yeah, this guy does not make a lot. <laughs> What's the matter, what? Nick? Well, it's gotta be something I can catch him on. <laughs> to catch a predator, maybe. Chris Hansen, anyone? Why don't you take a seat? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you take a seat? Uh, it's probably something here because Phoenix was saying something. I mean, he says it's still in his pocket, right? And But you got it. Yeah. I think that's what I'm going to try first. Is in the end, I wasn't able to give it her, so I've still got it in my pocket. Because wasn't... Didn't we find this ring with the monkey when we were looking for yeah, his badge? Yeah. We did it! The music stopped! Nice. My fucking. Do you mind so if happy. I show you something? I love when the music stops and every yeah. Ace Attorney player just goes, Fuck yeah! So yeah. smart! What is it? What are you talking about? Oh shit! Hey, yo, Phoenix! Oh, looks like they're going to double-team me now. Hot. I'm in for a little bit of a fun time. Hey, yo! 
Do you recognize this ring? Ah, that's, that's, that's mine. Give it back. Thief, thief. Didn't you just testify about this very object? I believe you said, in the end, I wasn't able to give it to her, so I've still got it in my pocket. And I don't mean my penis. Why then do I have it right here? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> this fucking exploding limbs sprite is so good. <laughs> For real. What is going on here? That's, that's, Ben say something. Don't put me on spot like that, Trillo. I found this in Money's room. No, no, money's room? You mean a room they put money? Like a bank vault? Yeah, and then it crashes and everyone takes out all of their money because startups couldn't get all their money back and everyone got really upset. Sorry. Oh, America, uh, hi, topical. how you doing? Topical. topical. <laughs> that filthy monkey is gonna get what's coming to him. Whoa. Hey, yo. Yo. Whoa. Mr. Quist, I, I advise you to stop using slurs in my court. Whoa. Well, you're on a money really is a monkey in every sense of the word. I don't like this chapter currently. <laughs> Feels a little odd. Oh, I see. Well then. Money likes to go after the shiniest things that you can find and gather them up. Shiny things? I collect shiny things as well. Are you a magpie? <laughs> Krillo. When was this ring stolen from you? Well, I suppose it was that time, you know, that night, the night of the crime. What did you just say? I'm offended. Details. I need more detail. Detail! <laughs> well, it, it was stolen right after Max showed up in the plaza. Right about when you saw the defendant walk past, correct? Sorry, I didn't get enough sleep last night. Apologies, I appear to have some insomnia. Oh, well, um, I guess you might uh, be able to say that. The ring might have, well, it could have been taken around that time. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I fucking love monkey! Ah, <laughs> uh, yo! Oh! Oh, what was me? It sounds a little bit too into this, to be honest. You <laughs> don't. Ben, what's with you? Ah, oh, whatever. It has nothing to do with anything, especially not who committed the murder. <laughs> it's not for you to decide what has to do with what. Now, Trillo, back to the topic at hand. Guys, there was a murder last night. Um. <laughs> We're talking about a puppet's engagement ring being stolen. I think we've gotten a little off topic. I haven't admitted a thing. Not I, Mr. Trillo Quist. What did you do when the ring was taken, Trillo? You know exactly what I did. I chased after that ring snatching monkey money. But you weren't able to catch up with him, were you? It's all this slow loafy fool called Ben's fault. While he was fumbling his way through the snow, that monkey was able to get away. What if the monkey did it? Uh, for real. <laughs> that is indeed an incredible shame. What if that's why there's no footprints? Because the <laughs> monkey be did really it. That'd be really funny. <laughs> the problem is that's entirely plausible, too. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> well, this does indeed prove one very important point. Prove an important point. What point could that possibly be? <laughs> ben doesn't exercise enough. <laughs> Ew. There is a huge contradiction in this witness's testimony. C contradiction The witness just testified to the following effect. Yeah, we fucking know what he testified. Up until the police arrived, he didn't move from the entrance to the plaza. But now he did move. However, However. The witness just stated that he chased after Money the Monkey. When the witness was off chasing Money, there was no one watching the plaza. Holy shit! 
<laughs> what is the meaning of all this, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Where are you going with this little theory of yours? I'm saying that there is no possible way that this witness saw the plaza the entire time. <laughs> Holy shit. That's where I'm going with this little theory. A game theory. Thanks for watching. <laughs> It is entirely possible that someone other than the defendant was at the scene. Ugh. Ugh. Well then, tell me this, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Do you have any proof that something slipped past this vigilant ventriloquist? Well, he obviously didn't see the victim. The ringmaster arrived on the scene. However, that doesn't change the fact that he saw the defendant arrive. The witness is lying. He is blinded by his rag rule backs. Um, there's some tensions flying in court right now, damn. Well, the defense's argument does hold water. Does it? It is in fact a ball. <laughs> the witness does have a history of animosity towards the defendant. What? How dare you? I wouldn't like to just get that dork face in trouble. He's not even worth it. I saw him, no doubt about it. I saw that worthless liar. Well, just for clarity's sake, let's flush out exactly who you saw on that night. <laughs> no, I don't want to do it again. <laughs> I don't want to do the stupid testimony again. <laughs> <laughs> I've told you so many times, you'd think you'd know my story's not changing. You've already changed your story, stick boy. But I'm sure it'll change some more. Where there's one lie, there are usually many more behind it. <laughs> exactly, Maya. That's why we have to keep after him. They called me Confucius in high school. Confucius say you can now hold these fortune cookies! Yeah! How to be my demons. I wanna! Witness testimony! Not again! <laughs> I'll give you that I was waiting that night for Regina. But that doesn't change the fact that I saw Max in the plaza that night. He showed up after I'd been waiting there for about five minutes. I said good evening to him, but he didn't even acknowledge my presence. I'm absolutely sure it was him. I saw Maximilian Galactica at the scene. There's no way I could mistake someone wearing those three ridiculous symbols. Say well, it with now. me. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> So that means that money didn't show up until after you saw Max. That's right, money ran up less than a minute after I saw Max. Then money snatched the ring and you went chasing after him. How long was it until you came back to where you were waiting? Well, let's see, I'd say about... I suppose five minutes, I think. So the victim could have arrived on the scene in that five minute stretch. Mr. Please proceed with your cross examination. I was like, damn, how's your GTA going? Cross examination! Witnessing Max! Okay. Waiting that night for Regina. Whoa! So you were only concerned about waiting for Regina that night? That means you probably wouldn't have noticed if someone else showed up. You should think about how many eyes I actually have. I've got four, you know. Four. F-O-U-R. Count Ben, of course. With that many eyes, do you really think something would have slipped by me? <laughs> four eyes is an awful lot of attention directed to one area, I suppose. Yikes. The judge is even more dangerous to our case than to Trillo. And I can't um... speak. That doesn't change the fact that I saw Max in the plaza that night. Hold it. So, you saw Max coming out of the big top that night. Of course that's where I saw him coming from. I was staring up the entrance to the tent the entire time. I guess that makes sense, especially since he was waiting for Regina. Oh shit. Waiting for about five minutes. Sir. Matthew. About what time would you say these events took place? 
You're one of the dumbest people on the planet if you can't figure it out yourself. You already know the practice finished promptly at 10 p.m. You already know that I went to the lodging house right after practice. You don't need to be a brain surgeon to know around what time it was when I saw him. Just add 10 more minutes. I'm sure you can do that. Know what time was it? Indeed, what time was it? Hmm, what time was it? Let me think about that for a second. Yeah, I'm no good at math. <sighs> it was 10, 10 p.m. <laughs> ah, yes, that sounds about right. I can't read a clock. Sounds about right, because that's the time that I saw Max on the scene. I said good evening. Wait. Oh, you testified that you said good evening to Max that night. Did I black out when I was reading this testimony? Because I do not I remember so. that line. I think you did. <laughs> Wild. I was just like, wait, he said good morning? Wait, good night? What happened? Huh? Huh? You must enjoy asking incredibly obvious questions. You say good morning in the morning and good afternoon during the day, right? And it's obvious that I'd say good night to someone at night. Uh. What, Ben? You've got something to add? Let me guess. That's not it, Trillo. You say good evening at night. Uh, I'm sorry, Trillo. <laughs> I'd prefer if you catch your ventriloquist act outside of the courtroom. Impossible! A performer lives and breathes his performances. You should know better. There has got to be something wrong with this bit of testimony. Uh... Probably Ben's half of the comedy act. Cause he was, yeah, I guess. Because he didn't actually say what he was going to say. Yeah. Or are you good? It takes me like five seconds Sorry. to read Phoenix lines. I hate to say it, but Ben's part of your li little act is coming off a bit stale. I'm sure that if a pro was to review your work, ah! You're not trying to pass off yourself as a professional performer, are you? Mm, Apollo Justice Game says otherwise. <laughs> no, it doesn't. He can't play piano. <laughs> Don't get so wrapped up in yourself, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You should know <laughs> better. Um, oh. oh, that hurts. That hurts so bad. Please, harder. That should have set him straight. You may proceed with your testimony, witness. I'm even gayer now. Oh, shit. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll do the other thing then. God. So you testified that you said good evening to Max that night. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I just want to get to the thing. Something's got to be wrong with this bit of testimony, he said. Yeah. There's got to be something wrong with this bit of the testimony. Let's try it again. Isn't that a bit strange to you? Oh, yeah. The music stopped. The music did stop. We got it right. Who knew? What do you mean? I put on my glasses so I can read. Well, I hate Max so much. Why would you bother being nice to him? <gasps> dun, dun, dun. It strikes me as somewhat strange. Why would it strike you as strange? Exactly. How is it strange to be cordial to one of your co-workers? Well, if it was simply just being cordial to a co-worker, I would understand. <laughs> Ow. Maybe you should think of having some proof before your lips start flapping next time. Proof is everything in this world. You should have learned that back in grade school. There is no reason that Trilla would ever say something nice to Max. How do I go about that without providing evidence? Probably the broken bottle? Yeah. Because wasn't it Max who hit him over the head, bent over the head yeah. with it? Yeah. Yeah. Because Ben's head was hurting, so it was Max. I had to, like, go through and be like, okay, wait, who was yeah. doing what at this time? I'm pretty sure it is, yeah. <laughs> Bluffing is everything in this world. I'm sure you already learned that one. All those I times you I'm have to be trial. my defense attorney, because I was on <laughs> trial for murder. The witness will resume his testimony. Uh, okay. 
Uh, pfft, I'm gonna present the broken bottle. Fuck yeah. And Trillo, is it not true that you had a fight with Max on the day of the murder? A fight? A fight over Regina, to be exact. It wasn't that big of a deal. It was just an argument. A disagreement at most. Then why did he pop the ass like a basket? Dogs are fucking a fighting. <laughs> a disagreement doesn't usually get in when someone getting clunked over the head. I'm sorry, I'm having difficulties reading. Ah! That morning, Ben got clubbed over the head by Max, didn't he? Whoa, what? Oh, yeah, you know what? Is that an admission of assault and battery? I think we might have fucked up here. Huh. Ouch. Before we handle that, we should wrap up the defendant's murder charge first. The truth is, on that day of the crime, the defendant and the witness had a huge fight. There is absolutely no way they would have suddenly become cordial that evening. Moreover, just consider the personality of the witness on the stand. Hey Max, how you doing? Good evening! There is no way a puppet this lewd would just stop and say good evening to his rival. I don't think the puppet's lewd. <laughs> I just think he's an asshole. Oh, he's lewd. <laughs> oh my god, he's lewd. Are you saying this witness is lying? That he's trying to frame the defendant by claiming to have seen him at the crime scene? I, I, I didn't tell a single lie, honestly. I just didn't tell the truth. That's enough from you, Mr. Quist. Mr. White. Yes, Your Honor? <laughs> Let's clarify this testimony for the court. Could you explain your theory about who the witness actually saw that night? Um... He saw a different person. It's my belief that the witness didn't indeed see someone that night. It was just someone else. And that's who we said good evening to. What kind of theory is that? A good one. The correct one. The right one, if you will. <laughs> Furthermore, I don't believe the person the witness saw was Max at all. What? If he had truly met Max that night, there would have been no greeting at all. Which means there is only one proper answer. Did Regina kill her dad? Oh, maybe she didn't want to be married. The person the witness saw that night was not Maximilian Galactica. That is why Trillo made the effort to greet whoever it was he saw that evening. Or good evening, as he put it. Uh, because he would have no reason to lie if it was Mo who did it. And we haven't met Acro, who's the other guy who lives in the lodging house. Yeah. So, like... It's either Mo or Regina, right? Yeah, it has to be either Mo or Regina or that acro guy we haven't met yet. Who knows what investigation yeah, will have to happen. So, right now, the best guess is, is Regina. Because Mo doesn't have any, like... Like, why would Trillo lie yeah. about seeing Mo instead of... I was going to say Von Karma. Mo instead yeah. of Galactica. He would lie about seeing Regina instead of... Galactica. Yeah. Yeah, I get you. Would the defense claim to explain who it was Trillo saw that evening then? Oh no. Time to put my oh, theory shit. to the test. <laughs> so, it's, yeah, it's, it's either it's Regina be... or it has to be Regina, yeah, because they yeah. put Mo back in the lobby house. Yeah. Yeah. It's either it's Regina or other... Russell. <laughs> like... Yeah, I feel like it's got to be Regina. Oh no, the music didn't stop. Oh no. No! No! This My is, this theory! Is the person. How about it, Mr. Quist? How about you stop asking me these ridiculous questions? You can show me all the crappy pictures you'd like. There's not one I wouldn't greet. Mm -hmm. What 
the oak are you doing, Woodman? Does he have a different profile than Trillo? Mm -hmm. You better not say Trillo, watch your mouth! Oh, well, okay, okay, sorry about that, Trillo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have, we have really two options. Uh oh, now I've done it. There's only like two options left. Yeah. You better rethink this line of questioning before I lose my patience with you. Well, that depends. Kind of explain who was truly saw that evening then. Okay, so it wasn't Maya. Rule that one yeah. out. Wasn't... It couldn't have been Max. Max. It couldn't have been Gumshoe. It couldn't, couldn't have been, have been Gumshoe. Couldn't have been Var Karma. Couldn't have been Regina because we just did that. So we have couldn't three have options. Mo. Two options. Yeah, because it couldn't have been Mo. So we have Russell and we have Ben. And... It looks like, it seems like Ben is very reluctant about Trilla denying these things. Do I go Ben or do we go Russell first? I guess try, maybe try Russell first, honestly. Fuck, the music didn't stop. Fuck. It must be Regina. It's Regina, right? She's so cute. What? Girl. My, my man. No, I, your I, honor, it is not Regina. If it was Regina, Trilla would have given her the engagement ring as a present. Oh, yeah, I suppose you got a point there. Oh. Oh. Guess that was right. Oh, nice. Huh. It was Russell Berry. The victim himself, was it not? You are correct. And it was indeed Russell Berry. Yeah. <laughs> The person you saw that evening was the victim, the ringmaster Russell Berry. There's also... I don't... we've not ever seen that character except in a slumped over position, so... But I was yeah. like, he is wearing a coat. And the hat. That, on the yeah. scene. That's why you greeted him, Trillo, isn't that correct? Go. Answer the question, Mr. Quist. Order, order. How do you respond to this? Oh, wait a second. Well, at first I thought it was the old man. But, but, but once I got a better look at him, it was obviously Maximum Million Galactica. Duh. I'm not lying for the sake of lying. <laughs> I think it's high time that we clear the air about this question. Mr. Quest obviously witnessed a single person in the area of the plaza that evening. The problem is identifying exactly who that person was. Was it Maximilian Galactica? Or was it the ringmaster one Mr. Russell Berry? The prosecution argues that it was the defendant that the witness saw that night. The witness has clearly stated that he saw the defendant's three symbols. Three symbols? Not again. All right, uh. this is getting old. Come on, man, you've got to remember him by now. Here we go again. Everyone, all together now. No! Oh! Yes, yes, we oh know. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Von Karma. <laughs> the silk hat, cloak, and white roses. A silk hat and a cloak. Anyone could wear them. They'd even look good on me. What the? I could look pretty dashing in a purple suit. Yeah, he really did just put on Edgeworth's clothes after one night and said, mm, yeah. Enjoy. What was that? Well, the witnesses end endlessly repeated that he saw Max's three symbols. However, do we really know that it was Maximilian Galactica? It could have been someone else dressed up as him. Then why would the ringmaster Possibly dress up as him? Russell Berry. Why would the ringmaster dress up as him 10 seconds Bro. after he left the room with Max Galactica in it? What? Ms. Von Karma. Uh. Do you have clear evidence that the person the witness saw was the defendant? Well, I... No, you don't. If that's the case, then it is impossible for me to make a judgment at this point. Yes, I think we finally won a point in this one. 
That is very unfortunate. Oh. Oh shit. You're just a little too excited for your own good, Mr. Phoenix, right? What do you mean by that? You merely established one thing from this witness. You established that this witness saw one person in the plaza that night. I applaud you on your effort, but... What? Who that person was can only be answered by the next witness. Huh? Oh? You can have multiple witnesses? Your Honor, the prosecution will provide beyond a shadow of a doubt an answer to that question and evidence that clearly establishes one thing. That there is no one other than Maximilian Galactica responsible for this crime. Bold words for a bitch. Very well. The court will take a 10 minute recess. During that time, I request the prosecution to prepare their next witness. Court is now in recess. Woo! Oh shit, we got through the first bit of the trial in an hour and a half? Ooh. Oh my god. Wait, what? <laughs> the fastest I think we've ever done one of these on my channel. Yeah, I think so. These trials last seven years. It's like 3 a.m. <laughs> That's fair, honestly. All right. I will be leaving you now. Bye bye. Sorry, I'm... I know you'll miss Phoenix Chad, right? Yeah, I have to do all the voices again. Oh no. <laughs> ah, I went to the wrong scene. Oops. Don't worry. He's always in your spirit. Hey yo, let's get some channeling going for Mr. Phoenix right over here. Everyone wish Matt farewell. Hey, good vibe check. Very proud. Did he leave? Oh, I'm alone in a voice call. Ew. He did leave me. Loser. Get my vibe going. Ayo! My vibe great. My vibe great. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Anyway. Back in. Back into it, boys. I have to do all the voices. We're doing great, guys. Let's go. Again, thank you to Matt for joining us. I will probably finish up this trial day and get to the next investigation portion before I leave. Chad Wright is better than darkness confirmed. True. So sweetie, you have to believe me. I didn't go anywhere near that crime scene. So then where were you when the murder took place? Lies. Chad Wright doesn't lie. We talked about it yesterday, remember? I was in the ringmaster's room. Ada, ada. And while you were there, it was the ringmaster who left the room, right? There you go. Clip doesn't work anymore! Fuck! Clip doesn't work anymore! Because <laughs> all of my mix it up <laughs> commands got reset. You'll never get it back! Fuck you! You can't get any more RRs out of me. <laughs> you want a refund? No, you can't. Now you gotta manually clip it. I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, Darkness didn't get their clip. How sad. <laughs> exactly. He told me to wait in the room because he would be right back. That's when the ringmaster headed to the scene of the crime, right? I can- we can take a break from Phoenix, right? And I can set up the command right now, if you want. A little, a little break might be good for us while we're cleansing ourselves. Nah? Okay, I'll do that after stream then. That's fair anyway. <clears throat> That's what it seems like. But the ringmaster must have been wearing Max's costume, right? I'm joking, I just clipped it. Ah, how sad. How sad for me. More ammunition for the compilation, you know? Oh, sweetie, I just remembered. I went straight to the ringmaster's room, still dressed in my stage clothes. But when I got there, I went ahead and took the costume off. Would have been helpful to tell us that beforehand. Which means? It means that the ringmaster could have taken his costume and went out looking like Max. Fabulous! That's a fabulously possible possibility. <laughs> well done, Nick. 
However, sweetie, why would the ringmaster want to dress up like me? Isn't that a bit strange? Huh. Guess it is. If you think about it, all they found at the scene of the crime was my silk hat. Oh, shit. What about my cloak? Where did that go? Double hmm. Wow, Max, I never thought of that. You should be a detective or something. Well, I was never quite sure what to be when I grew up. Magician or president? They're both the same level of notoriety nowadays. You have no idea how hard it was to make a decision. <laughs> That's really cool. Fabulous. This mystery just keeps getting deeper. Oh shit, it just keeps getting deeper? Oh my god. District court room number two. We're back, boys. Back at it again! Uh, now that everyone's back, let's get started. The court is now back in session. Miss Von Karma, please present, proceed with the prosecution's case. Very well, I will now call my next witness. A pitiful clown- No, not the clown! I can't do the clown voice! A pitiful clown with the unfortunate distinction of having seen the entire thing. Mr. Lo <laughs> Will Mr. Lawrence Curls please take the stand? Why'd you just call him a pitiful clown? No, I don't want to do it! <laughs> Not the clown! <laughs> the witness will state his name and occupation for the court record. <laughs> name and occupation? Mo voice is the best Mo voice it is. Sorry, I had to go change my title. In West Clown Adelphia. <laughs> Damn. They really did just skip past the best Mo line that's ever happened. <laughs> Name and occupation. Will the witness please in inform the court why speaking biographical gibberish? <laughs> the Will Smith in Mo's voice, yes, you can. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just not used to being in court. I've never been in a courtroom in my life. I wasn't quite sure what joke is best suited for this sort of occasion. What in the world are you talking about? You're in a grand hall of justice, not some comedy club on the Vegas Strip. Since it's easy to see your occupation, please state your name for the court, you clown. Oh yeah, maybe this joke is okay. Mom, do I have to wear pants? The sign says no shoes, no shirt, no service. <laughs> Why everyone hating on my boy, Mo? Okay, okay, how about this? Have you seen my proctologist, Mr. S Dr. Seymour Butts? How was that one? <laughs> but a couple of clowns are up to no good and starting making a fuss. Damn, he's really spitting facts in between all his lines, huh? Your name. Lawrence Curls, professional funny man, also known as Mo the Clown. He witnessed the scene at around 10.15 p.m. the day of the murder. Correct? Yes, yes it is. Very well, Mr. Curls, will you please testify to what you saw that evening? A rabbi, a priest, and a Rastafarian walked into this plaza without the humor, please. Okay. Uh, poor Mole can't be his normal stoogy self in court. It's a good thing, Maya. It's a good thing for all of us. I know, I know. I'm not the greatest comedian in the world. I haven't been able to make people laugh for ten years. No matter what I say, all I get in return is a vacant stare and polite applause. Since no one ever really laughs at my jokes, I've taken the laughing out of myself. It's a bad habit, but hey, at least I'm trying. This is not a testimony. Imagine my predicament. A clown who can't make people laugh. I'm almost useless. But I keep trying. I even tried to come up with the jokes just for today. But this atmosphere is very nerve-wracking. I decided to try to make everyone laugh. Seriously. Everyone. 
what do you think of me? How am I doing? That's not a testimony. <laughs> um, Bo needs a hug and maybe some hot chocolate. He, t he needs a couple marshmallows. Aren't we the ones supposed to be asking the questions here? Witness? Huh? We will listen to your call for help after the court pro- <gasps> Von Karma's gonna give him a hug and a chuckle. Thus, please stick to the facts of this case. Really? You'll really hear me out? <laughs> well, I'll make sure that one of my staff will be your straight man later. Thank you, thank you. I can't wait. Poor Gumshoe. No, Gumshoe's gonna be subjected to Mo. <laughs> no, we fucked up, guys. Now that that's settled, shall we begin once again with the testimony? Of course we can. I'll talk for as long as you want. Try that again. I wish it was what you witnessed part two. The night of the murder after practice was over, I went straight back to my room. You have no idea how tired I was that night. I was poop. I thought I'd go straight to sleep, but before I did, I glanced out the window. That's when I saw two silhouettes. They were a bit far away, though. It was Ringmaster, and he was with Max, who was wearing his cloak. I kept watching them, and all of a sudden, Max clocked the Ringmaster over the head. <laughs> Giggling about the murder, I love him. Mo's great. I have come around to Mo. <laughs> That's very interesting. If this eyewitness count is to be believed, I have enough to pass judgment right now. Of course you can. There's no way that this account can be criticized. However, the witness is a bit, how do you say, off-kilter. Cuckoo for coconuts, if you will. Almost like he has some sort of atmosphere of guilt surrounding him. <laughs> that must be because of my insincere smile. Mr. Wright, please begin the defense's cross-examination. Yes, your honor. Nick, you've got to find some kind of contradiction in his testimony. I know that. I fucking know that, Maya, okay? God, Mr. Wright, your honor. I'm afraid that if you push this witness too far, it would bring disaster. Was he gonna fucking palm the court? Thus, I sincerely hope you are not going to engage in pointless saber rattling. I understand, your honor. If you cause this clown to stray away from the facts, I'll hold you responsible. This is discrimination on quirky clown boys with swagger, and they're goaded with the sauce. Why am I responsible? I'm not the one with the corny jokes. Oh boys, let's get this. It's gonna be great. Uh, we got all the things. Just press all the statements, boys. You'd say that practice wrapped up around 10 p.m., correct? See, that's the thing. Huh? How exactly am I supposed to make a joke about 10 p.m.? Now, 8 o'clock, that's something a clown can riff off of. Let's just pretend it was 8 o'clock. That way I can make a great joke. No. Let's not make it 8 p.m., all right, Mo? What do you mean, let's not? Don't take the clown out of the clowning around. Come on, Nick, just listen to his joke. There are three reasons why I don't want to. One, probably won't laugh. Two, I'll get hit with a penalty. Three, I'll get whipped. Straight face, straight face Mo isn't real. He can't hurt you, straight faced Mo. Will the witness just proceed with his factual testimony? You are so boring. You were pooped that night. <laughs> yes, I was very, very tired. Not to mention I had some bad Mexican food. What? The double cheese double. Bean enchilada is a dangerous item menu. What happened after that, as they say, happens. <laughs> that one was cool, huh? I hear the kids really love toilet humor these days. <laughs> laugh at me, laugh at me. I'm a clown, laugh at me. The joke was so hip, I don't want to ruin it with a reply. Oh, I have to avoid his jokes? Oh, I didn't understand. I didn't understand. <laughs> uh... Oh no, I'm on my last chance. 
You'd say you clearly saw this, even though you were by your own admission far away. <laughs> That's right, I had been thinking about it over and over since that night. But things didn't really make sense until I spoke with the prosecutor, Miss Von Karma. But now I'm 100% certain that it was Max and the Ringmaster that I saw that night. Just think about it. How could I be wrong if Max is always wearing his uppity symbols? Uppity symbols? Got done Broski's content? It's so good, that's unfair. <laughs> you gotta dodge it. Blah, dodge the jokes. Lawyers nowadays. Do you even have to go to school anymore to be one? All right, everyone knows what to do. All together now, say it with Uncle Mo. <laughs> Fuck, you got fucking dono Walt. <laughs> See what I mean? It's always like this. The crowd never wants to go along with me. I must really be utterly and completely worthless as a clown. Yows! Enough foolishness. Get back on track. Will the witness please testify to what he saw and only what he saw? What did he clonk him over the head with? Go on, you say you saw the ringmaster get clonked over the head? Yes, I did. It's the climax of my story. He really does enjoy a completely random non sequitur. Why would you say the victim was struck with? You mean the weapon? I have no idea. A weapon wasn't found at the murder scene, right? That's not what I meant. You did say you did see everything, didn't you? Well, I, um, yeah, I suppose I did. Wait, no, I didn't. I didn't see a weapon. <laughs> yeah. Mo, did you or did you not see the crime of murder committed that night? That clown. I will not permit you to harass my witness in this manner. You'd better have an excellent reason for attacking this poor, poor clown. Because if you don't, you know what is waiting for you. A nice penalty. Nope. Oh. Isn't this a bit melodramatic? A little bit. So what will it be then, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Do you have any clear basis to, you, to believe that my witness did not see the crime? Of course I do. First I have grounds to make this claim. Rifling furiously through my, <laughs> through my shit. Then let's hear it. That's something I can't share with you at this time. W what did you just say? Mr. Wright. I know there's something wrong with this testimony, but I can't put why I feel this way to words for the judge. Maybe we should get a bit more information. Once we find something more solid, we can give it another shot. Yeah, you're right. Mr. Wright, before we resume testimony, you know that you must be penalized. No! No! Maximilian Galactica has been guilty. No, I fucked up. God damn it. Back to sipping my water out of a straw. Damn. Sad clown. Me right now as the streamer. Ba 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 ba. I've already seen this. I know it. 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 Demons, demons. How you doing, guys? How do we like Mo? There's a lot of text going into this one, huh? Hmm. A lot of text going into this uh, trial. Forgot about it. I should save closer in the trial next time. OMG, it's Mo, the pitiful clown. I have to get through one fake testimony, too. God damn it, I don't wanna. In the playground is where I spent my days. I'm mashing, I'm mashing. Mo's a sad bro. Mo is sad. Poor sad clown, Mo. Come on. Not been able to make anyone laugh in any years. Poor Gumshoe. Poor Gumshoe's gonna have to spend so much time hanging out with this guy. How sad. How upsetting. Thank you, thank you. Cool. So now we get through the actual testimony. Ba 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 booey. Ba ba booey, ba ba booey, ba ba booey. 
This is Beady. Thank you. I am Von Calm. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, we done it. Okay, now I'm gonna save so we don't have to do that again. Let's go. Okay. So I back to my room. I was pooped. Straight to sleep before I did. They were a bit far away though. Let's question that, I guess. Far away, you say? If you had to say exactly, how far away were they? Let me think about that for a second. Uh, if my room is here, and they looked about yay big, I'd say they were about 30 feet from my window. Just 30 feet? That's not far at all. It was snowing that night, and it cut down on visibility. I see. Please continue with your testimony regarding the two shadows that you saw. Hmm... But before I did, I glanced out the window. You just happened to glance out of the window? You could say that. You could also say I peeked, stared, glimmered, peeped, eyeballed. Mr. Curls. Oh, uh, I guess synonyms aren't allowed either. What should I do? I wonder if I should press him further on this issue. I'm gonna keep pressing him. Specifically, why did you look out of your window that night? Why? Why? Clowns don't need a reason to look out their windows, do they? That's not what I meant. I meant that, well, when we spoke yesterday. Oh, shit. Once I tucked myself into bed, I heard this amazing noise. It was incredibly loud. It sounded like a giant thump. <gasps> wow, I'm so glad Phoenix remembered this conversation, because I absolutely did not. Ah, uh, yeah, I forgot about that. You forgot. Your Honor, the witness looked out his window upon hearing a loud sound. He did not simply glance out his window that night. Oh yeah, that's right! I forgot to mention that thump, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's not something you just forget to mention. Um, yeah, what she said. I believe it would be best if Mo were to revise his testimony. I would think it'd be best if we just convicted him and got him out of here. This should start turning the tables in our favor. What? And what was that sound like? Well, I guess it kind of sounded like... I guess you could say... Mr. Curls, I remind you. The humor is unnecessary. How do you know I was gonna make a joke? <laughs> dot 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 kills me if their murderer is a phrase personality. I would love him more. True. I guess that sound sounded like a... I suppose it sounded like someone getting hit with something very hard. Yep, that's what it sounded like, honestly. Someone getting hit. Huh. What then? You went to look out the window and you saw... That's when I saw two silhouettes. They were a bit far away, though. Oh, wait, yeah, I've already done this bit. Huh. Oh, so wait, yeah. You say you saw the ringmaster get clonked over the head? Yeah, I did. It's the climax of my story. Really does enjoy a completely random non sequitur. What would you say the victim was struck with? I mean, the weapon? I have no idea. Ba 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 ba. We've already done this, but he already did his. He already contradicted his own testimony. Mo, did you or did you not see the crime of murder committed that night? Will not permit you to harass my witness in this manner. You'd better have an excellent reason for attacking this poor, poor clown. Because if you don't, you know what is waiting for you. <laughs> A nice penalty. Gulp! Oh no. Do you believe that any- Yeah, I do. I have a great reason to make my claim. And I suppose you'll be telling us that great reason? Of course I will. The reason is, the witness's very own testimony. What is the meaning of that, Mr. Wright? Yeah, he contradicted his own testimony. That was fucking easy. Mo said that he heard a sound like a thump of someone getting hit. Mm, he it did say that. 
However, Mo just stated the following under oath. I kept watching him and all of a sudden, Max clonked the ringmaster over the head. If most of believed when he says he looked out the window upon hearing a sound, there's no way he could have seen Max clonk anyone. In 1970, Greg down sending the prison unit of it around. He made a bad joke and people assumed he was being serious, but he kept it put true. Me when I spread misinformation purposefully on the internet. Mr. Curls, how do you respond to Mr. Wright's assessment? They didn't commit. The clowns promptly escaped from maximum security clown car. Mr. Curls, the C team theme to anger this court. No, no, I'm just stalling for time while I jog my memory. Great job, Nick. These types of witnesses always seem to have a selective memory. Just have to peel back the layers of the clown makeup to find the truth. <laughs> Maya looks so fucking over, Nick. Well, um... Ah, uh, you're back from your jog? Well, it pretty much happened the way I said. Pretty much? When I looked out my window that night, the ringmaster was already face down in the snow. The prosecution helped me fill in the gaps of my statement. Von... Von Karma! Tampering with witnesses again. <laughs> I did nothing. You're saying that you did not see the defendant clonk the ringmaster. Y yes When I looked out my window, the ringmaster had already checked out. Checked out? Yep, he was on permanent vacation, as they say. <laughs> Mr. Curls. Your Honor. You did not witness the actual crime. However, you still say you saw the criminal, correct? Y yes exactly. Ringmaster was slumped over and I saw someone silhouette next to him. Very well then, please testify to the silhouette you saw. I expect the truth. And if I even catch a hint of a joke from you, I will put you in a holding cell until you learn court etiquette. Got it? Got it. Aw, sad. Well, who would have guessed Von Karma manipulated him again? Whoa, crazy. It was a bit far away, but the shadow could have only belonged to Max. There's no doubting it, especially since I saw his uppity symbols. His silk hat, that black coat, they were all there. His face was silhouetted, but there's no doubt that it was him. His cloak was fluttering in the wind, so I couldn't really see what he was carrying. Okay, that's a better testimony. It does seem as if the defendant was at the scene of the crime. It took the cloud long enough to get his facts straight. Well, whatever, this should finally be good enough, yes? Yeah. It's decisive testimony. Was Max really at the crime scene that night? He said he wasn't there. We have to believe in that. Do you? So always gets me about these games. It's like, you, they always believe in their defendant, but like 90% of the time, I do not believe the defendant. All right, Mr. Wright, commence your cross-examination. Let's go, boys. We're gonna break this clown. Let me just do a quick little save. Fine, quick little save. Hold it! Don't you think you are going a little overboard with how explicit you're being? That shadow belonged to Max is an awfully firm statement, don't you think? He's been truthful with the fact that it's a joke in court as a circus. True! A real American right there. Mo's a real patriot. What are you getting at? I'm just saying that one of your fellow performers' life is on the line here. Are you truly 100% absolutely certain that it was Max? I'm not the kind of person who would lie about something as serious as this. The silhouette I saw was Max. I'm convinced of that. Doesn't seem like he's jumping to any conclusions this time. Let's go over this again then. What makes you so sure you saw Max that night? Trillo said the same thing, but if it was just the symbols, then even I could have been wearing them. What if someone had just taken Max's symbols and worn them? I thought of that myself, but just looking at the shape of the face I saw, it must have been Max. Hmm, you're sure of that? That's a weird thing. Such a silly little boy. He threw his entire case headlong into a trap. Okay, but where were the roses? You're sure that this is what you saw that night? Exactly what I saw is exactly what I saw. I've got eyes like a hawk. Uh, don't birds have terrible night vision? Hey, owls are fine. Such a silly little boy. New favorite quote. 
<laughs> New sub alert sound. But that's not all I saw. His face was still wet, but there's no doubt it was him. Mo protection squad activating. What's up? What's up, spy? We got some mo. We need some mo protection squad here. He's being attacked. His first sign of testimony was so sad. It was. It was very sad. You were able to see that kind of detail from your window. There was a light near the scene of the crime. Anyone with decent eyesight would have been able to see that much. Out of curiosity, Mo, what is your eyesight like? I can see like a hawk out of my left eye and an eagle out of my right eye. Our records say his eyesight is a perfect 20-20. That must mean he could have seen the crimes and it couldn't be me. God, imagine having good eyesight, Mo. Anyway, uh, back to our reading. <laughs> The more we look into this matter, the more suspicious it becomes. Hey, you asked me what my eyesight was, not what it actually was. Let's go. So you didn't actually see what the criminal was holding. That's correct. I've been curious to know what caused that loud noise. Yeah, I need new glasses badly. I'm blind as fuck. It must have been something incredibly hard. Too bad they haven't found the murder weapon to know for sure. They claim it was a blunt object. At least it says so in the autopsy report. With Trilla's testimony and now Moe's, it really seems like Max is the killer. N Nick, you've got to find a contradiction in this. It's not going to be enough. What? I have to prove that Moe saw someone other than Max that night. That's the only thing that will help. I've got to do it. Okay. How am I supposed to prove anything out of any of this? No doubt, uppity symbols, that black cloak, they were all there. Can I present the, the top hat? I fucked up, I fucked up, I fucked up! <laughs> the music continued, I fucked it up! Oh. Uh. Kind of hyped to get new frames, though I'm going full circular lenses, only mildly German-Asian look assassin looking. Damn, I want glasses, too. I want new glasses, because I hate these frames. These frames are bad. And they don't even fit my face correctly. It's awful. Yeah, we're gaslighting Mo, but it'll probably end up actually not being Max, so it's fine. True. If it was, that'd be a real problem for us, so... Huh? So I bring a new shape on your face is always a new look. Oh, hey. <laughs> yeah. I, like, desperately... I've wanted new glasses for a while. Because I'm nearsighted in one eye and farsighted in the other. At both, like, opposite ranges. So, like, one of my glasses... One of my eyes is just like, whoa! And the other's, whoa! And they're all awful and nothing works. His silk hat, that... Black coat. Wait, he doesn't have a black coat. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 wait. Whoa, 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 wait. Wait, whoa, whoa, wait, wait. That's not a black coat. <laughs> wait a minute there. Yeah. <laughs> Gaslight Mo responsibly. You saw you saw all of Max's uppity symbols. I suppose so. The silk hat and the cloak, right? Mo. Everyone knows that Maximilian Galactica has three uppity symbols. Three symbols. Yay! Everyone get ready! All together now! Silk hat, cloak, white roses! What the? Who cares if he knew that there were three or not? He saw what he saw, and he saw the symbols. He just forgot to mention one. Yeah, they are uppity. Isn't that right, Mo? Do you like pie? I love pie! 3.1415967822! Silence, fool. You will respond with the whole truth. No fractions. Ha ha ha. Order, order. Order up. No, you didn't see the roses, did you? To be honest, there weren't any roses on the person I saw. The crime scene was dark. It's obvious it was too dark to see that kind of detail. No fractions. Me in math class. But the witness said he was able to see the silhouette of the criminal's face. 
Not to mention that the roses are white. There's no way he could have missed them. It's a snowstorm. Then the roses must have fallen off when the defendant assaulted the victim. If that was the case, then the police would have found them near the crime scene. Tell me makes me want to do a high-speed rollerblade chase. Yeah, I want, to, I want to fucking... I was looking at it. I want to get those shoes that have roller skates built into them. Because I can kind of skate. I used to skate more as a child, but... I think they'd be fun. Because I like wearing my Heelys in Walmart. Clearly not. He's just toying with this court. Oh, shit. I got her on the ropes now. These seemingly insignificant facts have never failed to lead me to the truth yet. Someone is toying with the court, but it's not me. Your Honor, do you recall Trillo's testimony? There's no way I can make so mistake someone wearing those three ridiculous symbols. How can you mistake someone with that crazy getup and his nose stuck up so high? How could you mistake someone wearing such a snobby three-piece getup? Trillo saw them all. Trillo saw all three of Max's symbols. However, this witness claims there were no white roses on the person he saw. There's absolutely no doubt that this is a contradiction. It's me, Mo! Now what am I supposed to think? One is supposed to disregard the pointless, but this... Judge, forget the roses. Think about his other testimony. The witness has stated without a doubt that he saw Maximilian Galactica. Nothing else matters. Let's wrap this case up now. Damn, yeah, Mo got voiced by Chris Pratt in the new adaption. The anime. <laughs> Your Honor, it may be trivial, but it does cast doubt on the prosecution's case. Damn. We really, really served Francisca up, huh? Frankly, I have my doubts about this witness. It seems that unlike wine, the witness has not grown more mature with age. I'm not mature. Aw. Poor, poor Mo. I've come to a conclusion. I'm 99% certain this witness saw the defendant. However, my remaining 1% of doubt is quite reasonable. Which means that for the peace of mind, I'm going to request a bit more testimony. What? If there are no contradictions in his next statement, I'm prepared to issue a ruling. A ruling? Nick, this is your last chance. He's shaming for his neurodivergent act antics. True. This is the autism speaking. There's no doubt in my mind there were no white roses that night. However, all the other symbols were there. I'm equally sure of that. Especially the silk hat. There's no way I could forget seeing the decorations on it. He was wearing it the entire time that he was on the scene. They're ableist. A. F. Mr. Wright, you've got one last chance at this. Just one chance. Can I have another chance, Mr. Judgy, please? I will not allow even the slightest hint of badgering against this witness. If you're going to prove that me that there's a contradiction with Mr. Curl's statement, you'd better have at least a shred of evidence to back up your accusation. I've only got a single shot at this. I've got to be careful. I understand, Your Honor. One chance is all I will need. You sure about that, Phoenix? Sure about that? I think I might need a little bit more than that. Let's uh, do a little savey save right there for all this what decorations on the hat Mo be honest Ow! you promised Mr. Phoenix right no more badgering hope you oh 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 I didn't know that's what badgering meant in this case I'm fucking glad I saved <laughs> damn um, real glad I saved, huh, guys? <laughs> that is fun. Objection. Fuck yeah. I love just throwing something out there. This wouldn't happen to be the silk cat you saw that night, would it? <laughs> yep, that's it. That's the hat he was wearing that night. No question in your mind? Exactly how would one mistake a thing like that? I see. There's some sort of problem, Mr. Wright. Miss Von Karma, where exactly was the silk hat found? Bitch, I owned you. 
Must you always ask these questions? It was found at the crime scene. The crime scene. That means... The silk hat fell off at the crime scene. However, the witness clearly testified to the contrary. The witness stated that he was wearing it the entire time he was on the scene. No, that's not true! <coughs> if the shoe fits... Mr. Curls! Yes, your honor? What is the meaning of all of this? You are old enough to know better than to behave like this in court. Hey, that's just not right. That's so harsh. What's not right here is your eyesight and your memory amongst- Damn, they're getting fucking mad at this clown. Holy shit. What? Why are you being so mean to me? What did I do? Let me guess, you just didn't like my jokes or something, right? You didn't have to go and insult my eyesight or my memory. They're both great. Seriously, why? Just because you're sitting above me and no matter how old I get, I always be younger than you. <laughs> Shit. Damn. It's the only sane one in the circus, true. Enough of these childish outbursts, Mr. Curls. Who do you think you are? I saw him. I swear I saw him. It was Max. Even if he didn't have his roses, he was still wearing that dumb silk hat. I'm telling the truth. He's turned into a bratty little... He's turned into a bratty little kid. It's pitiful, isn't it? <sighs> he left the scene wearing that dumb silk hat. He was there. He left the scene. <gasps> oh, shit. What's the matter, Nick? There's something I've been mulling over for a while now. Mo. What do you want? He just said he left the scene. Exactly how did the murderer leave the scene of the crime? What? He, uh, he went... What do you mean, how did he leave the scene? You can't ask me that. Ooh. Mr. Phoenix Wright is badgering the witness, your honor. Oh, shit. This witness's testimony is full of holes, Miss Von Karma's protest is useless. Okay. He's just a little guy, a little birthday boy. You're gonna upset the birthday boy. He's turning 10, okay? You've got a point. Let's hear what the witness has to say on this matter. Is that all right with you, little guy? <laughs> Let me retake that line. Is that all right with you, little guy? Don't talk to me like I'm a little baby. Besides, what kind of stupid question is how did he leave the crime scene? The answer's obvious. He just turned around and walked away, but there were no... There were no footsteps. There were no footsteps, little guy, little dumb idiot boy. That's what I expected you'd say. You're sure that's how it's happened? Say what? I'm not sure I know exactly where you're going with this. Lawyers nowadays sure do love to harp on the smallest things. Do you have any proof to counter a story as to how the criminal left the scene? I do. Take that! Whoa! <laughs> Judge just like me for real, for real. Look at this picture. <laughs> with a failing memory. And gay. <laughs> the problem is the footprints in the snow. Footprints? In this photo, we can clearly see the footprints of the victim. However, where are the criminal's footprints? They aren't there. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, we're turning this shit around. So, Mo, how exactly did the criminal escape the scene? Um, he, uh... Fuck! Your Honor, this one has already proven that his testimony is completely unreliable. I move to strike all of the witnesses' testimony from the court record. I agree. This clown's testimony is as rickety as the clown car he came to court in. Wait just a second. You guys can't just ignore everything I've said. Fine, fine, fine. I'll tell you the truth this time. Mo. You wait a second. I think you've said more than enough for today. That didn't hurt. I'm sick and tired of listening to you anyways. I'll give you the real deal this time, I swear. I don't know why, but I get the feelings that things are gonna get way worse before they get better, Nick. Oh, shit. Mr. Lawrence Curls. Yes? The testimony you've provided up until now has been false? It hasn't been false. I haven't lied. It's, it's just... It's just what? Just I was a bit confused on a bit about the criminal leaving the scene. Especially since Von Karma and her whip told me not to talk about what I really saw. <gasps> oh shit. Or 
order! I will have order! Francisca von Karma, how could you? With grace, your honor. If you had to hear the truth from this witness, you would have exactly the same opinion as I have. What opinion is that? It's not funny. The bow is so fucking good. It really is. I like watch her bow and I'm like, damn, you go girl. That's enough out of you. I'm going to listen to what he has to say. Now then, let's hear the truth about what you saw, Mr. Curls. Ha, you're not gonna believe this, but it's all true, I tell ya. Try not to waste our time with your idiotic drivel. Why are we testifying so seven times? <laughs> yeah, that's right. I did that shit. Fuck you gonna do. Nothing. Now it's time for our next segment, Monos. Everything that I've said up until now has been the truth. When I looked out the window, the ringmaster was down and Max was standing above him. He wasn't wearing his white roses, but he was wearing a silk hat. That's when I saw he... Ooh. <laughs> this is the truth now. Get ready for it. He flew. He jumped up and flew through the air. Flew right off and disappeared into the darkness. Damn. That was a great animation right there. Flying people don't leave footprints. He's an idiot. <laughs> I told you it wasn't funny. Do you believe me now? Yeah. Knew the flying thing would be a problem. Well, that was, um... How do you put this into words? Fucking hilarious! <laughs> Maximilian Galactica is a world-class magician. But to leave the scene of the crime by flying, there's no way that actually happened. Y you're, you're right. Why is she right? You believe the other witnesses? Why would you believe me? Especially since it's the best part of the story. <laughs> to be honest, this is the first time I've heard of a flying criminal. What do you think about this witness's testimony, Mr. Wright? He's telling the truth, is the problem. What he just said was so strange, I don't think he would have made it up. Which means that he's telling the truth? That's what I think. Nick, wait! Oh, fuck. Fuck. I fucked it up. Magic does not exist. Suppose I'll let you all in my thinking regarding this matter. The criminal disappeared into the sky. I'd love to believe that, but I just can't wrap my head around that could actually happen. You imbecile. If you disregard a need for proof, Miss Von Karma's case is sound. However, I've got the feeling that this case is in dire need of more investigation. <gasps> Thus, I will conclude today's proceedings at this point. It is undisputed fact that the criminal left no footprints at the scene. Gaslight, like gatekeep, manipulate, mansplain in here. Let's go, babes. Let's go, babes. Tomorrow, I want us to find out the reason behind the mystery of mysteries. Um, uh... I believe that's enough for today. Court is adjourned. Fuck. Back to the lobby, boys. Hey, sweeties. What in the world is going on? That's what I want to know, bitch. They say the criminal flew off into the air and disappeared. Max, I can't believe I'm asking this, but you didn't fly that night, did you? Like, you didn't, right? I know you didn't mean to ask me such a fabulously stupid question. I can't fly whenever I please. It's not that easy. But it looks so effortlessly for you on stage. It's not that simple. I'm not actually flying on stage. I use invisible wires and have them hoist me through the air. Wow, you just told me the secret to your magic. No, I broke the first rule. The cardinal rule. The only rule. I'm sorry, Max. You made you break a magician's creed to never reveal the secret to their tricks. Nick, what do we do now? All we can do now is hope we find the flying criminal in court tomorrow. Great idea. Let's do our best and catch this sucker. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, guys. Oh, my God. Next part's gonna be an investigation, right? Yeah.
I don't really want to do an investigation right now. That's a lot of work. Those are like three hours worth of shit. It's so sad. He broke his code. Alexa, play Despacito. I could continue, but I don't really want to. So. Sucks to be them. Guys, how do we like, uh. How do we, how do we like, how do we like the new Scoot? How do we like him? He cool? Scoot got a little paint job. Get him. He matches the vibe. The vibe deserves it. Anyway, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end stream now. Black Cat, look at him, he fits the vibe. He fits the spooky, like weird vampire vibe I've got going on. It's great, I did a whole rebrand. If you look at my panels below in the uh, panel section, uh, they all have new banners that I made. That's really cool. We got like a spooky little purple vampire thing going. Didn't even notice it fits so well. Thank you. It's mostly because I lost all of my other shit because my computer got a virus and all my accounts got hacked. So I just didn't have anything anymore. It was a sad day. So I'm glad it fits at least. That's nice. But anyway. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Monokuma. Sorry, you can't, you can't do this to me, fangirl. You can't bring out the fucking Danganronpa emotes in my presence it doesn't help but anyway uh i'm pretty sure i'll be streaming again tomorrow because it is spring break i'm free for a week it's sick uh i might play dead cells tomorrow i might play blood rain tomorrow which is a game from my childhood that i love uh and am not named after but i will pretend to the end of my days i am named after that game because i love that game uh anything else i'm thinking of no I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day, rest of your night, and I will see y'all later. Bye bye. Bye bye now. Bye bye. Hey yo, Scoot, what the fuck? Scoot was just vibing in the in the 